Hey, welcome back to another RCX Unfiltered, uh, the Hillis Collection. So today we're going to be taking a look at um, most of our omnibus that I have in my collection here in our warehouse. Um, this is actually uh, my, uh, once again, personal collection. And so what I'm getting ready to show you is probably about 98% of my omnibuses that I have out, what you're going to notice is that the, the majority of my stuff is Marvel related. Um, there is a handful of DC. I don't have a whole lot of DC omnibus. I have a whole lot of DC like trades and regular hardcovers, but not necessarily omnibus. So today, this video is really going to just kind of focus on the omnibus that uh, we have. So let me see if I can get this camera turned around here and going so here is the omnibus omnibus whew, omniboxing the omnibus collection that we have here and as you can see we have uh, these nice ikea shelves that we have everything on so we'll just kind of go down do just a quick scan of what we have here and you can kind of see you know what we have and then like I said most of that is the Marvel stuff um, then down here um, we have the DC and like I said this is really just the regular omnibus that Marvel and DC puts out not a lot of like the image stuff or regular hardcovers or trades um, that I have here this is just kind of what the setup is from the normal the big two right so, like, later on in another video, we'll kind of go into a lot of the other hardcovers and special edition hardcovers I have. But, you know, most of the stuff that I'm looking at here is Spider-Man. And if you notice in my collection, the way I do my stuff in these IKEA shelves, as you can see, like Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 3. And what I do is, is I actually, I put the other volumes behind them. So I can have more space. So that's what you'll notice here on a lot of this, where you'll see like a volume one, like Spider-Man Ben Riley volume one. We remove that. Uh, might not be the clearest video, but volume two is behind it. So I kind of, kind of do that to save space. My main Spider-Man stuff is up here on the top row, and then we just kind of do it, or I kind of do it alphabetical um, with what we have here. So we just go through this. Um, sometimes I misplace stuff, and so that's why I, that's why I said the normal two. Um, you can see the Captain America's back there. It's pretty much all here. Um, I still have some stuff in boxes and places that we have, and so it's kind of a different little area. Like I said, this is just what we have in our little warehouse. So of books. Kind of give you an idea and I mostly use a, most of this really for um, some of my research and stuff I do like with the history of comics and what goes on in these um, it's way easier for me and because also I really no longer um, are doing single issues much anymore I've gotten rid of most of my single issue books other than things that are kind of really hard to get a hold of which are you know not really that big of a deal for some of this stuff then I have my Conan's yes the Marvel not finishing Conan the Barbarian uh, is kind of a bummer luckily the new company is going to kind of put them in the same format and then as you can see, I do have some DC stuff, uh, Omnibus, not a ton. Um, DC is really not my biggest forte when it comes to like history of comics. I am the typical, um, I grew up mostly with Marvel at the time, with Rom the Space Knight and Amazing Spider-Man, things like that, Moon Knight around the time. And of course, you know, Marvel had the Transformers and G.I. Joe back then, so it was a lot of Marvel stuff. Um, DC-wise, I guess I kind of grew up with Wally West, Flash, and 
Kyle Rayner Green Lantern, so a lot of that stuff has changed over the years. And so I'm, you know, not the largest Barry fan or Hal Jordan fan, but that's, you know, that's a generational thing. But we do have a lot of good stories. Um, Gotham Central is probably one of the best um, stories out there and have that in the omnibus. I believe I also have that in hard covers, regular hard covers. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to give people an idea of what my, like I said, this is the regular um, Marvel DC omnibus. There's a few that uh, is not necessarily out here. So like I said, this is probably 90, 98%, 97% of the actual omnibus itself. So not necessarily hardcover. This doesn't take into account hardcovers or trades or anything like that. We'll get to that in another video. Um, most of that stuff is actually um, actually in my house, uh, in a library that we have uh, in our house. Um, we have quite a few rooms that are locked up in the, in the house that we carry most of that and other collections that we'll get into. But this is my extensive library here, um, mainly because, and this isn't my masterworks and stuff either, just clarifying. So like a lot of this Spider-Man stuff through here is just stuff that's easy to pick up and, well, not necessarily the easiest thing to pick up and read, right? And I don't think the, uh, I don't have any of the Ultimate Spider-Man stuff out here either. I think I have most of that in regular tray, uh, hard, the original hard covers. I think I only have one omnibus of that. They did a Barnes and Noble exclusive when it first came out. So I do have that. So anyway, that's just a little preview of another part of the Hillis collection we have out here. Yeah, I do kind of collect Legos also. You'll, you'll see lots of different things that I'm sort of kind of into um, throughout this film series that we're gonna do in the Hillis collection. And I, I do have a lot of Legos put together. This is just stuff that I haven't made it around to yet, so. But anyway, once again, thanks for joining me here, and I appreciate it. Um, if you like these little videos or you like any of our videos, please like and like this video and subscribe to our channel, and we'll keep putting up more content, more comic content. Uh, my collection, we keep doing our live stuff. So we, we keep planning on doing it. We're having a lot of fun with this. So always give us suggestions or anything else you'd like to see, and we will get to it. Thanks a lot. Bye.